how to get lucky luck the cliche goes is the residue of diligence as gary player once said the harder i practice the luckier i get over the years we have had more than our share of luck but over the years we have known how to take advantage of it and we haven't waited for it to hit us in the face this indeed is the essential difference between those who are fortunate in business and those who aren't the group that is naturally lucky can see the tiniest crack and turn it into a crevice the group that never gets a break wouldn't see opportunity if it jumped up and down and then mugged them getting lucky is mostly a matter of recognizing what you have been knowing then how to turn into an edge is the easy part consider the good fortune of mr goodfather mr goodfather that's his real name is this commercial horticulturist who waters and cares for the office greenery for a number of cleveland companies including jones and laughlin steel he learned that the eaton corporation another big cleveland firm and a major customer of jones and laughlin was moving to the same building and he called eaton to see if he could get their account as well when he asked to speak to the person in charge of the office he was mistakenly connected to the person who was really in charge del devingdit chairman and ceo of eaton i take care of all the plants for jones and laughlin steel mr goodfather said and i would like to see someone about your account the next morning mr goodfather wearing his work clothes and his trademark black beret was ushered into a conference room to meet with several high ranking eaton executives all of whom had their jones and laughlin files in front of them once the case of mistaken identity was cleared up everyone had a good laugh and that might be the end of a cute rather pointless story but as mr goodfather was leaving he turned to one of the executives and said now about your plants he got the account